With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. I knew exactly. I, I felt like I knew what God put me on this earth to do. I just play the game of basketball. I just love it so much. And once I came to the NBA and I looked around, I saw all the guys that weren't working as much as I was, then I started to understand that. How I went about it is hard work. To me, it was just, I just love what I do, so I want to do it as much as possible. You know, now it's time to go in there, and it's time to do some work. Can I you know, look inside and say, okay, what was the genesis for me? Who, who inspired me to get to this point? You know, when I face adversity and I look at it as a challenge or an opportunity, where did that come from? You know, who did I learn that from? Did you set goals when you started in the NBA? Did you have goals at that point? Certain yeah, things was, that you wanted to do? Yeah, it was really simple for me at the time, which is win as many championships as possible. I want more. I want to learn this thing some more. There's got to be another level, you know? And uh, it was just beyond exciting. And when I step on that basketball court, man, I become something else. really hard to get to this point. I was pissed. So Kobe Bryant cannot continue. Well, it's been tough, but you know, when I have tough situations, I, I try to look at them as challenges. I don't look at them as, as, you know, something where it becomes a burden or something that's heavy on my shoulders. I look at it as a challenge and something that, you know, it's just a puzzle that you have to figure out no matter what. Unfortunately, our top story is about the NBA's fourth all-time leading scorer. Kobe Bryant will be out six weeks after injuring his knee yet again. And Dennis, not good news for Kobe, not good news for the Lakers. Not good news for the Laker nation because Kobe worked so hard to get back and get back on the floor. We know how good of a player he can be. Now another setback, but once, one thing we know about Kobe, he's going to work hard again to get back on his feet. He certainly will. He is 35 years old, played in six games this season, and it is possible that the injury happened against Memphis in the third quarter on Tuesday. Kobe said he thought it was just a hyperextension. In fact, he stayed in the game, scored 21 points, helping the Lakers beat the Grizzlies. Well, best performances on the road. Fans boo. I absolutely love it. I thrive on it. They don't understand who I am. Not only am I comfortable being an outsider, that has become a source of motivation for me. So when I go to these places and you boo, it actually comforts me. <laughs> yeah. Bryant knocks it down. The Mamba mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself. That's what the mentality means. It means every day you know, you're trying to become better. If, if your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, mm -hmm. right? to do that, you have to practice, you have to train. Right? You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two, um, you have to let your body recover, so you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at 6. Train from 6 to 8, right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions, right? Now imagine you wake up at 3, you train at 4. You go 4 to 6, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, 9 to 11, right? You relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, 2 to 4, and now you're back at it again, you know? seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four, all right? And so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never gonna catch up. I remember we were playing against the Lakers, Tom, and we were out here in LA. And, um, you know, look, I always try to outwork people. Right? That's just how I made my mark. So the game was at 7. 
was like, you know what? I'm gonna come to the Staples Center because we're playing. This is when Lakers had Kobe and Shaq. Right. Okay, this is this is like the championship Lakers. I was like, you know, I'm gonna get there at three o'clock. I want to make sure I make 400 made shots before I go back into the room and then I sit in the sauna and I get ready for the game. So, you know, get in the car, get to the gym, get there, and as I'm walking onto the court, who do I see? I see Kobe Bryant already working out. You know, so I put my sneakers on and you ever get lost in what you do where you end up like, wait, it's been an hour and a half? Like I, I'm just, I'm, I'm here, I'm in it. So once I set my foot across that line, I started working out. And so I worked out for a good hour, hour and a half. And when I came off, after I was done, I sat down and of course I still heard the ball bouncing. I looked down, I'm like, this guy's, this guy's still working out. He was working out for like, it looks like he was in a dead sweat when I got here. And he's still going. And it's not like his moves are nonchalant or <laughs> lazy. He's doing like game moves, you know? Um, I sit there and I unlace my shoes. I'm like, I want to see how long this goes. So I sit out there and watch another 25 minutes. And he got done. I said, okay, I think I've seen enough. Go play, you know, come back, get in the sauna, get ready for the game. That game, he drops 40 on us, okay? And after the game is over, I'm like, I, I have to ask this guy. Like, I, I have to understand, like, why, why he, he works like that. Right. So after the game is over, I'm like, hey, Kobe, like, why, why were you in the gym for so long? He's like, because I saw you come in. And I, and I wanted you to know that it doesn't matter how hard you work, that I'm willing to work harder than you. Wow. And he's like, it's, don't hold, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm not saying I right. dislike you as a person. You just, you inspire me to be better. Right. And it was the first time I started to see this level of competitiveness where I said, I need to start doing more.